Uh, this is just a quick video on how to calculate uh, your dead space, as it's called in some programs, in your brewing system for when you're using programs like Beersmith uh, and various other programs. I'm going to start quickly with the mash tun. I'm just using, you can just use water, cold water, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm uh, brewing today, so I'm just preheating the mash tun now. I'm just going to use that water and uh, show you exactly how I measure my dead space in my mash tun. And um, I'll show you in my boil pot as well. So here's my mash tun with the water I'm preheating it with. So all you simply do is uh, open your tap up and empty as much of that water out. Don't tip it up. Just let it run out naturally till uh, no more is coming out. That water's just stopped running out. So that's it. Turn the tap off. As I said, don't tip it up. Now the water you'll have left it might be a bit hard to see in there, especially with the steam. Yeah, the water he, he you have left, you measure that. So I'll just pull, pick up the whole thing and pour that into a um, measuring jug. So there it is there. And that's around 750ml by the looks of it, a little bit more, maybe 800ml. So next is my boil pot. Um, that's just star sand in there at the moment because I was just uh, going to quickly star sand my chiller. Sometimes I um, run the boiling wort through it just to make sure it's sanitised. Other times, like today, I'm just going to run some star sand through it. And it's the same with as your mash tun. You just turn your tap on. Open up the valve. It's running out now, it's a bit hard to see. And it's the same thing again, just leave it. Don't tip it up. Okay, so let's stop running through now. So just turn the tap off. Can unplug it. Put that into the measuring jar. There you go. That's about uh, 700 mils. So if I add them two together, 700, the other one was 800. That's 1500, it's a litre and a half of uh, dead space I've got in my whole system. Uh, and that's how you work it out. The other way to do it is you could measure uh, 10 litres, so you put 10 litres in or 5 litres in and then measure what you get out. So you might get 4 litres out then you know you've lost a litre. If that's if your, your pots are too big to pick up and pour into jars and things like that. So yeah, you just measure what you put in first and then measure what you get out and subtract it and find the difference. Let's put it into uh, Beersmith now. So once you've got Beersmith open, it's as simple as going down here to Profiles and Equipment. And you'll have your various equipment there. I'm guessing you've already got your own one there somewhere. I'll just click on my old My Equipment. And that pops up just like that. Now the bit we're worried about is the mash lauder ton and the loss to Trube and Chiller, which is here. I'll just try and zoom in a bit. Okay, so here where it says lauder ton dead space, that's your mash ton. We had 800 mil. Um, so you can just stick, it's, a, it's in litres, so it's 0.8 of a litre. My mash tun's 32, I'll just change that for 32 litres. Uh, the loss to Troub and Chiller. Well, I had a dead space of 700 mil. Um, I'll probably lose a little bit more than that to the Troub. So I'll probably add another 200 mil on for that. And uh, another 100 mil just for extra. So I'll just make that a litre. And the reason I make that a litre is because there'll be a pile of hops in the middle 
and a pilot tube and it'll just hold a little bit more water and uh, I might get a little bit of water in my lines of my chiller that varies from time to time and so it's as simple as that really so that will let Beersmith know how much dead space you have and how much water you need to add to your mash and to your sparge water or batch sparge to get you the right amounts and don't forget to click adjust mash volume for dead space of course you might want to rename it so it stands out a bit more gash brew and don't forget to press OK at the end so when you go to make a recipe uh, add recipe you just pick your equipment gash brew and there you go change it to all grain if you're doing all grain and you're right to go I hope that helps uh, sort out your dead space in your system it'll take a little bit of fiddling in practice but that'll get you headed in the right direction cheers and I hope that helps